Welcome to our episode of Barroom and Saturdays, and this week I decided to take a look at Pippi Longstocking. And yes, this is for the 1998 cartoon series. And yes, we're breaking this up by episode. We're looking at, you know, Pippi Returns to Villa Villa Coola. So yeah, we're starting out with the first episode. Makes sense, but this DVD is weird since it has episodes 1, 2, 3, and 12. Yeah, they skip over episodes 4 through 11, just go right to 12 at the end. So I don't know if this was meant to be, like, the collection of, like, they thought were, like, some of the best episodes. Or if they didn't really care about the numbering of the episodes when they put this together. Because I assume that might be the actual answer, because they show the episodes if you watch this on the play all episode option is in the order of 1, 3, 2, and 12. So they may have only cared about getting that first episode on the DVD. Um... And I don't know if they release these, uh, the rest of the episodes and sets or what. Though you can find basically the entire series on YouTube for free. Though if it's legally available for free or not, I am less sure of. Because it's on a kid's channel. Um, so you can't make comments. I I'm going to hope they have the license. But yeah, you can watch this stuff on YouTube for free, so I effectively paid a dollar for stuff, you know, I already had access to. I just didn't realize I had access to them until I stumbled across the episodes, because I was uh, looking for, you know, some maybe reviews to see if anyone else had talked about this series, and the answer is basically not many. Um, it's it's a bit weird, because with the books as being as popular as they they were when I was a kid, I would assume there'd be more nostalgia attached to this series, and there'd be more people talking about it, but it seems to have, like, basically fall into the wayside for some weird reason. I I really don't get it. Because, you know, Pippi Longstocking, you know, is a memorable character, if if nothing else. I mean, she can lift a horse above her head. Ta-ta, everyone! And she was so interesting that Miyazaki had thought about doing an anime movie based on her. It didn't happen, but it was apparently being developed before, you know, he just gave up on the idea to go work on some other projects. I guess it got put on the back burner and then, you know, just forgotten about forever. Which is kind of disappointing, because I'm sure you could have done something pretty interesting with the character. Though I suppose we're getting a bit sidetracked. Like, what good is the first episode? Would it be something that, you know, would draw in people to watch more? And that's kind of a toss-up, really. A lot of the appeal in the, the episode is that a lot of the characters are really incompetent, like, hilariously so. Um, there are some jokes, you know, that don't draw from the fact that a lot of the characters are dumb. Um, like when the cops start talking about, you know, oh, lifting a horse form and all kinds of other stuff, and just keep f pulling out forms for everything. Like, gosh darn, is everything in Pippi's town just illegal? Like, like lifting a horse, feeling sails with wind, throwing people in the trees, breaking tree branches. Like, oh man... Horse eating a hat form, like how many forms do these people have, you know? Right. That would mean an illegal bumping into people complaint form. I saw her lift up a whole horse with one hand. Right. Illegal lifting of horses form. Or the cops giving up on trying to pursue Pippi at the end of the episode because she literally just picks them up and chucks them into their car. They're like, you know what, I, I think it'd be best if she just stays where she is. Um, because we just give up. I have to admit, if I was picked up by, you know, what looks like a scrawny little girl and thrown into my vehicle, I'd probably give up at that point, too, and then drive away as fast as possible and never look back. So there there are jokes in here that aren't based on the characters being dumb, but that does seem to be a basis for quite a few of the jokes. And she keeps a monkey. Illegal possession of monkey form. Where is that one? Use mine. Thank you. Oh, wait a second. This is for cheetahs. Isn't that what you said? No! Monkeys! No monkeys? So what do we need a form for? Oh. Of course, the first episode is largely used to also introduce to us to our uh, major players as well, like our main antagonist in the series, who's rather uh, stuck up as far as I can tell. <sighs> but don't worry. We have secondary antagonists we can talk about, you know in the next uh, episode. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say this would push me away from the series for the first episode. I, I don't I did get, you know, some mild chuckles out of it, but 
I imagine I'd maybe enjoy it more if I was, you know, younger. Because for someone my age, I've seen a lot of these jokes play out before, or at least similar enough jokes that I can't, you know, bust a gut laughing at them anymore. Like, I've I've seen it too many times. I know what the punchline's gonna be, coach. You do it for a while. My head hurts. So does mine. <laughs>